family trying to come to terms with the sudden loss of their uncle is talking to us now. He died because he was trapped in this big house fire overnight in the East Garfield Park neighborhood. Diane Pathy was live in the 500 block of Ridgeway this morning, Diane. That's right. Those that knew the owner of this home say he was so well liked by so many people and was always the life of the party. Now his family is left to mourn him during the holidays. Smoke and flames billowed out of the home early this morning. Trapped inside the 83 year old homeowner, William Jackson, his family now in disbelief. It was just devastation. That's all I could say, and especially the way. <sighs> the way it looked like he went. Jackson was found in the back of the home in the kitchen area. The fire broke out in the home in the 500 block of North Ridgeway after 1.30 this morning. Firefighters worked for hours to put it out and got it out by 3.30 this morning. 83-year-old Jackson used a walker to get around. That walker now charred. We're told it was one of Jackson's family members that first noticed the flames and knew something was wrong. One of my younger cousins who DJs at a local club in the area was leaving from his DJ job and noticed all of the fire activity, the trucks, and saw the fire and said, wait, that looks like, you know, our uncle's house and came by and realized that it was. Jackson leaves behind his wife and extended family members. He lost his son two years ago. He had lived in his home for decades and is described by family and friends as fun-loving and always happy to be around. Our whole family is as one. You know, I, I, he, he's funny, uh, he loves to cook out, uh, he loves to be with his family. You know, that's all we had with each other. Our fa you know, family, we were just together. Fire officials tell us the home did not have any working smoke detectors Later this morning, firefighters returned to the scene to pass out smoke detectors to residents in this neighborhood. The cause of this fire is now under investigation. It certainly was a very busy morning for Chicago firefighters. Later this morning, after 4 o'clock, crews headed to 135th and South Buffalo in the Hegwich neighborhood for another fire in a one-and-a-half-story building there. Fire officials tell us the fire was so bad inside, they had to order all of the firefighters to tackle it defensively, meaning only from the outside because it was so unsafe.